So the next topic that was newly added in was the graph identification. Okay, so for example, over there at the right hand corner, okay, there's A, B, C, D, E, F graph. Okay, so you're required to match up like which function is actually represented using which diagram over there. So as usual, this is not as hard as you think. Simply use the X, Y, you draw the box there and sub in some possible value. Okay, usually what I did was the standard one that I will use will be 0, negative 1, and 1. Okay, sometimes depends on the question, I will use 2 and 4 as well. So y equals to x plus 1. So when y equals to 1, my x will be 0. And when y equals to 0, my x will be negative 1. So this one was actually represented using graph E. Okay, whereby for the next one, we have y equals to 1 minus x over 3. So I, same thing, I sub in 1 and 0 at y's position and I get x as 0 and 3. So this one was actually represented using graph A. For the next one, we have y equals to 2x squared. So I set when y equals to 0, when y equals to 2, okay? So the possible outcome would actually be 0, 1, and negative 1. So out of all this graph here, it will be diagram C that fulfilled the requirement. But for the last one, it will be y equals to negative 4 over x. Okay, so I set up more varieties of numbers, okay, so that I can estimate and check which graph is the most applicable one so this one will actually be diagram d okay based on what the coordinate that we have gotten so diagram f here will be y equals to 4 over x whereby for diagram b it will be 2x squared minus 2 okay you can actually trace it back using the formula that we have there. Okay, the negative two simply represent the vertical translation. Okay, and the y equals to four over x is actually the other way around of diagram D.